Welcome to the Base Innovation Center. So this is a training and laboratory for the uh, research about sustainable materials, but focusing on social housing. So that combination between sustainable materials and social housing makes this laboratory unique in the world. So you can find laboratories in Europe and US about sustainable materials, but they are not focused on social housing. Or you can find some architectural department that works in social housing, but not necessarily with sustainable materials. So that combination is what made this laboratory unique. And of course, our main material is bamboo, but it's not the only one. We are open to other materials that are sustainable, okay? So basically, the laboratory is divided in four areas. So we have this area here that you have been, you will be working here later on doing your own panels. Mm -hmm. So this is the fabrication uh, table areas, and here is where we are going to uh, prefabricate some bamboo walls. You will be doing with the support of Danny and Irene, our four man, and you will be working with the bamboo and drilling and learning how to make a panel. Uh, we have strip coating, then the foundation wall, and then uh, slab on grave. And, and then after that, magpapansin nyo, mayroon kaming moisture barrier. Kasi yung bamboo, pag ma-expose siya sa moisture, may tendency na yung lifespan niya, bababa. So, nalalagyan namin yan ng moisture barrier, barrier sa either collated and sheet. Then panel installation, so right after the foundation and the cement uh, and the slab on clay, so we install na yung panels, then fixing of bolts, so pag -connect, pag -connect, uh, pag -connect walls, and then grouting. Installation of rib or tag tag, so either this one is the tag tag and this one is the rib -lock. Then plastering with tag tag and plastering with, uh, plastering with rib -lock and plastering with tag tag. So that is the process for our construction and the last one is a, the next one is roofing. Uh, the maximum spacing of our bamboo stud should be 600 mm. This one here is disconnected to our foundation. Makita nyo kanina, may bamboo dowel yan. Then, at least two internodes, meron niyang ano, meron niyang grout. Then, we provide flat bar as space para matiba yung structure ang wall mo. Kasi pag wala kang flat bar, medyo mahina yung distance natin sa lateral loop. This is brace that will help to resist. ito yung debolt connection maka debolt yan so ito dapat naka ano to naka may mortar to yan ma'am yan ma'am yan ma'am kailangan papasok ito sa buta so gan mga ito pwede ito malita Anyway, 
pwede ito sa ano ma'am uh, ito na yung ano natin ng car ito pa naman sa ipa yata si ganun ano This is the foundation of pedestal. At least two internodes. Meron kang ano? Meron kang uh, cement motor. And then, ang critical dito dapat yung ano natin yung holes dapat hindi para den di alay. Kasi pag parallel siya, it can cause crack. So, hindi ito yung connection namin sa plug bar. Hindi na namin nilalagyan ng uh, mortar. What, what we are looking here is two alternatives for the cladding of the house. So, in that side, in that side, there we are using platinum and bamboo or tata in a logo or sasa in the guano. And then um, after that, you apply a uh, chicken net and then the plaster. But inside, you will see the that's one alternative. Second alternative is this special mesh that you have here or in that panel that is outside the house. This mesh is, is, is designed to be plaster. So you don't need anything else, just the mesh. So you plaster outside and later on you plaster inside and cover that. The problem with this mesh is that you need to import so it's not available in the Philippine market. So it's, it's, it, it came from China. Instead of that, that, you can produce locally. And you create more jobs, you use more bamboo, your house is greener, and additional, it, it, it will be more fresh. Metal mesh, always you will have mortar between the two bamboos. Because you need to cover the two sizes of the house. Normally the plaster is something between one and a half centimeter to three centimeters because the plaster covers the irregularity of the bamboo. So you don't, bamboo is not perfectly wrecked, uh, so you need to cover the, the imperfections. And then you can paint this internal part, uh, the same for the exterior. You can use also the tat tat as a ceiling between the bamboo structure and the GI roofing. So also we work like a, a barrier for the for the heat. Yeah.